you vocab in the first part, and then you do some writing, like sentences, and then we're going to make the truth table. And then we end on a good note with Venn diagrams, which we've all seen before, so it's kind of like a good way to end the lesson. So this first part, like I said, is just kind of vocab heavy, um, just a bunch of new things. Um, your keywords are in blue, that's what you're filling in the blank, all right? So a statement is just like a statement you see in an English class. It's just a sentence that's either true or false. That's all it is. Um, if, so if it's true or false, that would be its true value. Is it true or is it false? That's why it's true value. And then when you, you can write these in shorthand, and then when we abbreviate these, we either call them P, Q, and then we'll see R today as well. It's just kind of like a very book. So let me explain. So this is saying statement P is this. Supplementary angles have a sum of 180. Is that true or is that false? True. true. We know that they add the 180. This part right here, this P and Q business will make a little more sense. A little bit, okay. Okay, negation just makes it the opposite. So, um, how you would see that on your assignment is this little squiggly line, so it would say like this. That means not P. So in our example here, the difference is supplementary angles do not have a sum of 180. So that's false, right? So you know that they do. So again, if you negate a statement, you're just putting the word not somewhere in it. Like, my name is Brittany. If I want to negate that, my name is not, not Brittany. Brittany. Right? But that's false. My name is Brittany. Okay? That is it. Okay. Compound statements. It's just two statements put together with the words and or or. Just like a compound sentence in English. Just two sentences put together. Then depending on if it's an and or an or, we have special names for them. So if you have an and statement, it's called a conjunction. It's just a special name. So that's a statement that uses the word and. I didn't finish the comment. Yep. Sorry about that. Okay. So if you write that in shorthand, we use this like upside down or the carrots that you see in the English class. P and Q is how you read this. And in order for this whole thing to be true, both your P and your Q need to be true. What if it says or when you have to be So then an or statement is called a disjunction, and we use just like the letter B between them, P or Q. And only one of those needs to be true for the whole thing to be true. And the way I remember the difference between those symbols, so that's the and, right? It looks like an A, that's how I make my A's. A for and. That one's or. There's nothing special about that. Say how I make my or's look like that, but I actually have to do things and it's always perfect. But the other one looks like an A, right? For and. A for and. Okay, let's try put all this together and see what it looks like. Oops. So you're going to be given a series of statements like this, just short little phrases. There are seven days a week. First thing you decide, is that true or is that false? True. True. So can you put a T by that for me so we know? March has 30 days. I don't know. False. Do you guys know the knuckle trick? No. 
January, February, March is on top of your neck it's 31 days. Oh, man. So, it has 31 days. Or you could sing a song. Wait, what? Can you say that? If it's on top of your knuckle, I mean, that's the knuckle. Like that. Like it's the knuckle. 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 Like True. Yes, but I'm talking about overall. It has 31. So this is what I was talking about. P and Q. So I'm literally going to write out what's P. There are seven days in a week. And March has 30 days. So you have to write out that sentence. Oh. Wait, what do we have to write out? P, which is there are seven days in a week. Together with the word and, yeah. March has 30 days. Yep, you, it's right now. It's, Wait, don't they both have to be true? Scale right for an and statement, how many need to be true? Both. both. Are they both true? No. no. So then this is. Oh, false. Right. False. No, just put false. Okay. How do you go to the Right here. That's my no, answer. Yep. Um, will you fix this one for me though? I want to do an or. I have a typo in your notes. Make it an or. I think so that's you. So or now, right? So now I'm writing March has thirty days or Halloween is on October thirty first. Is falling. What's Q? Q's right here. Or what's R? R's right there. So you're just writing that down in a sentence. So for an or, how many need to be true? One. One. So is this true or false? True. True, right? Because Halloween is October 31st. Yeah. So true. What's left? Okay, so now we have that squiggly. What does that squiggly mean? Not. not. There are not seven days. So it would be the opposite and it would be or, right? No. No. So it don't overcomplicate this. There are not seven days a week. This just means not P. So how would you write not P? There are not seven days in a week. That's the trick today is to not overcomplicate what's really happening. Just be as simple as you can. Will we ever have to write squiggly? Or was that like too many questions? One more time. What do you mean? So like, well, when it asks us questions, we always have a squiggly line and we never have to write squiggly line. Yeah, you'll know if it's squiggly line or not. And what's my other one? What's Q? March has 30 days. days. Numbers matter? No, there's really no numbers today. Um, so, and how many need to be true? Both. Are they both true? No. So it's false. Okay, so that's about the first chunk of your assignment, and then he moves to a truth table. A truth table. <laughs> okay, so all this is, you guys, is a way to organize all the possible activities you can have with these and and or statements. That's all it is. So we're just going to start very simple. So right now I just have my name is Brittany. So that can either be true or false, right? Yeah. But if I negated it, what's the opposite of true? False. False. Then what would this be? True. True. 
Okay, pretty simple, right? Just comparing two things. Okay, now conjunction, is that and or or? So how many need to be true for the whole thing to be true? Both. So now this is like saying what we were just doing over there. True? If they're both true, then the whole thing is true. true. I have one true, one false, so it's false. Then another false. And then another false. Does this part make sense? All I did was I compared these two. And since it was an and, they both had to be true for the whole thing to be true. Okay, disjunction is? Or. So how many need to be true? One. Just one. So P or Q right here? True. 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 False. So those are pretty basic examples, and then the ones later on get a little more hard. So this time we have to fill out the header on our own. So what am I going to have, do you guys think, in those columns? Like at this top line here. Do you guys agree with P? Does everyone agree that we need a P? Yeah. Okay. Then we need a regular R. And then we put this guy, not R. And then your last one's always what you're trying to show. P and not R. Okay, so you just want to be systematic about this. So you're trying to figure out all the possibilities that this could be. So what you can do is if you're given the columns, or excuse me, the rows, Half of them have to be true and half have to be false. So how many trues do I need? Two, true. two right? So I'm going to put my trues first. True. True. And then I'm going to put my false, false. Okay, which one are we always going to start with? Trues. So if P is true, what could R either be? True or false. So I'm going to put a T. Or an F. True or false. But what if P is false? What could R be? True or false. So do you guys see how we don't have anything duplicated here? They're all different. Okay. Perfect. Now, not R, you're just putting the opposite value of what's next to so it. So what's not true? False. What's not true? Or false? True. True. False. Why would the third one be false? This one right here? Yeah. Because what's the opposite of true? Oh, just for R. Okay. Yep, just for R. Yep, you're only looking at R. And then the last one, you're only comparing P, so I don't know if you want to put like an arrow by it. And, uh, and not R. So try to like blank this one out of your memory because we don't care about it right now. So for an and, how many need to be true? Both. Both, Both right? So right here, is this going to be true or false? False. 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 True. True. False. False. Are you like super confused, not really, or are we get it? Kind of. Kind of. Okay, that's okay. I'll take that for sure. What is P and like the not R? What is this? Wouldn't the not R make it? I get that. But you're just making, you're just, you're not making it up, but just don't overthink it. These are what you're comparing. Okay. I have a true and a false, so that makes it. So I don't need to worry about just putting the 90. Nope, okay. you're just looking at these. Okay. Yep, don't overthink it. So now the next one's really interesting. P and the not it is a lot of boxes. So let's think about it. How many different letters do I have going on? P, Q, and R. P, Q, and R, right? So that's going to go in these first ones. And then you're going to need not. Do I have any knots here, though? Oh, no, no, no. You, you, put, P, you put P or Q, and then what you put Q. No, when you do Q or R. Q or R first. We'll do what's in parentheses. And then the full one, so. Right. Yep, and then remember your last one's the whole thing. Okay, 
So now, how many rows do I have? Eight. So nine. Eight. 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 Okay, now this one, so we went four trues, four falses. This time I'm going to go two trues, two falses. Two trues, two falses. I don't know if she's opposite. Do I have any knots? No. Nope. So no overthink it. Nope. So how do you think we're going to do true false for R? True false, true false. True, false, true, false, true, false, all the way down. What if you have like nine rows? You won't. And the way you figure out how many you need is so I'm going to have two to some n power, and n stands for how many letters you have. One, two, three. So two to the third power is what, guys? So we had two. We had two last time, right? Two squared is. Did we have four rows last time? Yeah. Okay. Not long. And then if you guys take a look here, do you see how none of these match? Like I only have one line of all trues, and I only have one line of all falses, and then all the other ones are just a combination of the rest of them. And then now you just see Q and R, then those are the false. Yep. So now we're just going to compare these two. Q and R. So don't look at P, just at these two. And with an and, how many need to be true? Both. Both. So what's my first one? True. False. False. True. False. 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 Yep. False. It's got an F in the column. It's false. True. Agreed. I should say. Can you guys try to fill Figuring out the last column. All you're comparing is this one or P. Forget about the middle two. Just compare this guy and this guy. So does it have to be or? It's an or, so how many need to be true? One. One. Just try it. If you're totally wrong, that's okay. Save Why are we wasting our time learning this? If you go into coding, mm -hmm. the electrician, um, other IT jobs involve stuff like this. It's why I'm saying it's mm -hmm. Okay, what did you guys get for the first one? True, 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 true. It's just under this column here. So 25 seniors only went to their senior prom, but not their junior prom. How many went to both their junior and senior prom? 80. Yep. The overlap. So they went to both. Yep. So 123 went to both. How many people went to neither? 
Yep, the guy hanging out in No Man's Land, 37. I didn't even see that. Mm -hmm. How many students graduated last year? We got Adam Hall, 48. How do you figure out how many people graduated? Add them all up. Add them all up. Two seven. 148. Two more than 148. It might be 270. 270? 270? Yeah. Okay, good job.